Now the maximum and minimum functions are just like they sound. So for maximum, maximum takes the max or the highest value within a selected range. For example, if I come up here and I want to be able to find the salesperson who made the highest sales in the month of January, I can do it one of three ways. One way is just to eyeball it. Let's see, there's 220.15. That's the highest value. He gets the bonus here for the sales in January. Or I can go ahead and select it after I select the range. As you recall in earlier training videos down here in the status bar, after you select a range of cells, it'll give you the average of the range at a quick glance, the count, or the total number of cells we have selected, or the sum of the range, or if you right-click on the status bar, you can also get maximum. Click off in a blank area. So the highest value within that range, or the max value, is 220.15, and it's just like we said, 220.15 right here. The other way to do it is to go ahead and use a function. In fact, let's come down here, highest, the highest value, and we'll call that, so you know the function we're working on, maximum, hit enter, and then the lowest value, which will be the minimum function, and hit enter. So let's go ahead and use the function, insert the maximum function in this cell, so we can get the highest value for the month of January. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Come up here on the Home tab, go over to the Editing group, and you've got your Greek symbol. It's the uh, Auto Sum function. Well, if you click the arrow to the right of it, you can also get the quick maximum and minimum. Let's do maximum. Excel quickly shoots out a range here and it says, okay, I bet this is the range that you want. We're like, no. So what we can do is we can hover over the border of the, they look like marching ants, just marching around in a rectangle. Hover over it till you see your four-way arrow. You can click and drag that to move it up. And then, well, it's missing a cell down below, so hover over the lower right hand or left hand corner until you get arrows pointing in opposite directions, and then click and drag it down one. And there you go, you can see equals max, open parentheses, C7. Now as you recall in the previous training video, the colon means through. So C7 through C10. And then just go ahead and hit enter, and well, there's your highest value within that range. Now that's one way to do it. Let me go ahead and click back in the cell. Instead of coming up here and clicking on the drop down arrow, you may just want to quickly type it in. So if I come over here and I type in equals MA, you can see it brings up the drop down list for maximum. Hit the down arrow, hit the tab key. In other words, when you hit the down arrow, it selected max. When you hit the tab key, it pulled the max function up. You can hit the backspace key a couple of times and you can double click on the function here. It pulls it up. And then it brings up the syntax. It says, okay, this is the function, maximum or max, and then it's got a bolded number one. What's your first range? Well, it's going to be this range. Click and drag, and if I'm done, I can just hit enter on the keyboard, but if I want to go on to a second range or number two, you can see what's separating them, the delimiter, comma, and they call it a delimiter because it's a character that separates one group of data from another. So it could be a semicolon, a colon, a space. In this case, it's a comma. Go ahead and hit the comma on the keyboard. Number two is bolded. That means you can go ahead and select a second range. Select another range. And hit comma. And you can keep going and going and selecting more ranges here until you're done. And then go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. If you want to find out the highest value within these uh, three ranges here, hit enter. It's 31044. There it is, 31044. I don't want that. So I can double click here to get back in the cell so my cursor's flashing. And I can come over here to the end, start hitting the backspace key, so I can just get the first range, which is going to be for the month of February. What's the highest value there? Hit enter. It's 210. So it looks like uh, the second salesperson here made the highest sales for the month of February. Click in the next cell. A couple other ways you can do it is you can either come up here on the formula bar. There's the insert function button there. Click on that. And as you deal with more complex functions, not right now, this isn't too complex, hopefully, but in later training videos, this is very helpful to actually use the insert function window here. It gives us more details. There's the description here of, well, for the average function, but we want the max. And you can see down below, it's in the category of my most recently used, and I recently used the max, so I can go ahead and select it, or like I said in the previous training video, come up here and select the text, delete it, and type in max. And then you can see the uh, Go button is highlighted, means it's active. So if you hit the Enter key on the keyboard, it's like actually clicking on the Go button with your mouse. And it pulls it up right down below. Or 
click on the drop down arrow, select all, and it's sorted alphabetically. Go all the way down to the M's. There's Max. Again, there's the syntax of how the function is supposed to be built by one range at a time. And you can have just one range, but you can have more. And then basically the definition of the function and what it can do. In any case, you can go ahead and select it, click OK, or hit Enter on the keyboard, or double click on it. Pulls up the same window for maximum. So what's the first range? Well, if you look at it, it wants to select the range of C15 through D15. Let me go ahead and click and drag the header bar down so we can see what we're looking at. Um, C15, that's over here. So it looks like it's looking to the left, and it wants to select the range this way. I don't want it to do that. So I can come over here, either click on the Collapse dialog box button so it collapses the window, and then come out here and click and drag and select my range, and then hit Enter on the keyboard so it pops back open. Or you can, you know, if you want to, come in here and just delete it and type in E7 colon, which means through. So we're in cell E7. We're staying in the same column, so it's going to be E. But we want to be on this row right here, 10. And you can see, let me click and drag the header bar down so I can move the window. You can see now it's got the range selected beginning with, uh, well, the first cell, 140.96. There it is. The next one, 240.82 and so on. Then it gives me the total results which is the highest value within the range, and it's displaying it right there. So right off the bat, I can tell if my function's working or the range that I selected. If I entered the range incorrectly and not a bunch of blank cells, it'll show me the results of the cell, of each cell within the range, and then give me the, uh, well, the highest value. Click okie dokie, and there we go. Of course, don't forget, you have the formulas tab. You can also click on insert the function. It brings up the same window. Click cancel. Click on the auto sum down to maximum and it wants to select the cells that have numbers that are closest to it so these are the closest numbers or the range here as opposed to having an empty cell here so it's shot over to the left we can go ahead and change that either by typing over it no you're going to be E7 through E10 or just click and drag up here and get it to select appropriately there and then hit enter and then to go ahead and finish this off you can click in the cell and you can copy and paste the formula over into this cell by selecting it, coming up here on the Home tab, clicking Copy, then coming down here and clicking the Paste, or the fastest way to do it, to copy and paste a formula, if it's from one cell to the next, is to hover over the lower right-hand corner. You get the black cross, as we discussed in an earlier training video, that's the autofill handle. Click and drag that over. And then let's not forget the lowest uh, value here. We'll click in the cell, and you can insert the minimum function one of many ways, as we just covered with the maximum function. You can either go ahead and type in equals and type in the name of the function. As I type in mi, there it is, min for minimum. Go ahead and select it. You can read over to the right what the function's going to do. It, it will return the smallest number in a set of values. In any case, go ahead and either hit the tab key with it selected or double-click on it. I'm going to hit the tab key. It pulls up the function. It's in ready mode or ready stance. And it's got number one in bold, meaning, okay, what's the first range? What range of cells do you want to select that you want to find the lowest value of that range? It's going to be up here. Click and drag. I've got the range. Hit enter. And the lowest value within that range is, of course, 110. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.